Hi all, I have an important model game to show you today in the Sicilian Four Knights variation. So there was a question raised by one of you about a key move. Let's have a look. e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, c takes, knight takes. Uh, we're transposing into the Four Knights variation with this route. So the critical knight db5. So Magnus Carlsen and Kasparov if you look at them playing with the black pieces at say chessgames.com uh, they play d6 and they use it as a way of getting into a Sicilian Sveshnikov after bishop f4 we go into Sicilian Sveshnikov territory but you might want to try uh, this novel more novel move more novel approach uh, here after knight db5 you might want to try bishop b4 and one of uh, your questions might be well what if white plays knight d6 check here what do you actually play in this position do you give up the dark square bishop you definitely do not want to give up the dark square bishop here especially as you've put pawns on light squares you've already weakened the dark squares in the position uh, fundamentally the key move is to play king e7 this is actually stronger than king f8 because you're actually putting immediate pressure with the king and the bishop on d6 when you play king e7 so threatening bishop takes d6 here you're not uh, and white can play a3 and grab that dark square bishop which would leave you sorry pardon me grab that dark square bishop uh, so you don't really want to give it up on d6 the queen takes d6 is, is just nice for white and this position even though you've inflicted double pawns this is fairly miserable for you with the black pieces so this is to be avoided white's getting a small edge here with the bishop pair a lot of dynamic pressure uh, so basically the key move and this makes it fine for black arguably is king e7 so you're threatening bishop takes d6 and prompting uh, something either knight takes or in this game we see bishop f4 so this key game today Gramajo Pazos uh, was playing white against Jacobo Bol Bolboshin, a very famous player. Jacobo Bolboshin sounds familiar, doesn't it? Uh, it's actually not the exact player as Julio Bolboshin, and they are actually related. Julio Bolboshin was one of the opponents of Fischer in his classic 60 Memorable Games book. Jacobo Bolboshin. Uh, born December 26, 1906, uh, died uh, in 1984 at 77 years old. Uh, a great Argentinian player as well. Uh, so he was born in Buenos Aires. Argentinian champion in 1931 and 1932. Uh, awarded the IM title in 1965. He played in three Olympiads. Uh, he uh, was actually the older brother of Julio Bolboshin. So a little bit of trivia there for you, just to clarify. So the player with the black piece is not minding this variation with king e7 at all. This was played in Argentina 1946, uh, this particular game. And after bishop f4, uh, black played e5. Before we get into bishop f4 though, uh, what is the uh, what, what are the alternatives here? On knight db5, this seems like a pointless waste of time, and it kind of is. You would play a6, and if knight d4, although the black king has been inconvenienced, uh, after knight takes e4, that's a free pawn to take, and there's no big problem there. Uh, here, if after a6, knight uh, doesn't go to d4, but goes to a3, then in fact, d5 here, this is very nice for black as well. And in fact, you can manually castle your king. And these knights are awkward and silly here. Decentralized knight on a3 in particular looks really ridiculous. So yes, um, the two key moves, uh, I would say, after king e7, is either to support the knight like this model game or knight takes c8 check. So bishop f4 was played here. And now uh, Bolboshin plays e5. So nothing to fear about d5 at the moment, the knight being pinned. Knight takes, rook takes. This bishop really wasn't doing much anyway on c8. It was sleeping. Uh, we have bishop g5. h6 now is played. Bishop takes. 
and g takes black doesn't mind the double pawns here uh, we have bishop d3 now knight d4 now white sacrifices a pawn it's a dynamic try for sure uh, to castle perhaps more solid is queen d2 and this position should be around equal but white uh, kind of made it into a gambit here by castling trying to use the f file maybe the king's position on e7 to try and rip open the f file in particular so black uh, took on c3 and accepted the kind of gambit we have f4 so how scary is this for black this position we have d6 uh, and now uh, rook f2 rook g8 this rook is actually remarkably useful here queen d2 we have queen a5 which does support the idea of rook a3 hitting a2 a2 is an isolated pawn to target here potentially rook a f1 with the big threat now of f takes and looking at f6 black now finds a key defensive move so what would you play in this position if i give you five seconds to play with the black pieces a nice defensive move okay rook g6 yes so now after f takes you can play d takes and the rook holds h6 and f6 we have king h1 uh so now rook a3 wanting the exchange of queens and looking at a2 so after queen e3 white wants to keep some tension going but now is losing another pawn it's starting to look really unsound h4 trying to nudge that rook away but black forces an exchange of one pair of rooks so this takes the sting out of any white attack taking off one pair of rooks here and now rook g4 we have queen h3 and now we have what is uh, superficially a horrendous structure on the chessboard black takes on f4 resulting in trebled pawns but they do serve an interesting role black's king safety is quite good it also has liberated the queen along here looking at h5 uh, we have queen c8 here and uh, black actually uh, chose a different route didn't take on h5 here but played this check uh, and now check here and to get in this killer move f3 uh, this leaves white pretty helpless in this position white has one token check uh, one or two token checks and uses this one and after king f8 the game actually ended here uh, as a continuation example say uh, check to come back to h3 against the mate threat then this end game is very easily winning uh, for black say so knight e2 here uh, and f5 so there's an outside pass pawn over here as well to play with uh, say bishop e2 sorry bishop e4 f2 is winning for example here we can queen the pawn and win the bishop tactically and if instead of bishop e4 well no, in this line rather instead of king g2 here which loses immediately a piece say bishop g2 black can actually just win with that a pawn past a pawn which was generated much earlier in the game and even if uh, the knight is dropping off here this is winning the bishop can't handle here both pawns in this scenario so this is just queening one of the pawns so yeah an interesting uh, game interesting from a theoretical perspective actually it's so it's one of the model games in this excellent course uh, in the main course actually this is the free short and sweet version King, Kings Crusher TV slash Sicilian four nights dash free but in the main course there's a model game which has this 1946 classic so J Jacobo Boboshan uh, so just to recap here so you might have been off put uh, by this knight d6 check so this game is very important uh, as a model as model games are to kind of answer that very important question you don't want to go wrong in this position and you don't want to take on d6 and you don't want to play king f8 for sure i wanted to do this video to make sure to underline that very clearly i hope that you look at the set of videos around this course in the last few days uh, to make sure that when you do experiment with this opening you have all the right uh, stem games uh, as far as I can give uh, this week uh, but check out that course for 
uh, clear core lines and ideas. So this is one of the model games which answers this particular question, which I'm sure for us uh, online players, a lot of us online players, this is going to come up quite a lot because it's very lucrative to check the king here. But as this game shows, black should have no real problem. Once you double the pawns and isolate the A pawn, and win that later, you get a pass outside a pawn. Uh, if you can just weather the storm of, of the uh, potential F file attacks, as, as this shows, then this is a great system to try out. Okay, hope you got something from it. Thanks very much.